Once again, there is a brand new update to Watch Dogs Legion Online, and now it's also available on PC. I will tell you everything you need to know right here in this video, so make sure to go ahead and hit the like on this video, subscribe and ring the bell for way more Watch Dogs Legion Online, and let's get right into it. This is very good news for all the PC players, since now we can actually go ahead and jump into the online mode of Watch Dogs Legion on the PC as well. As I'm making this video, the doors to Watch Dogs Legion Online on the PC are already open and the update size is 14.4 gigabytes. There is more, but I first of all want to say that Ubisoft continues to improve the online mode experience on all platforms and you can expect more updates coming to you soon. Leader of the pack, Technical Ops, is coming next week too on March 23rd and we'll also get more information about that in a couple of days we'll get to know the exact date and the time when this is going live in yesterday's video i talked about how the sin patrick's bundle was already available on all the consoles and now from now on it's also available on pc so go and get it as you guys know ubisoft watches every single one of my watchdogs legion videos so if you have any reports or anything you want to say let us know in the comments down below so this watchdogs legion update is also bringing changes to the game globally on any platform so let's start off talking about those changes ubisoft now finally fixed an issue that caused several masks to go missing from players in the wad drops after tu 3.0 they should have fixed this with a previous update but eventually it didn't work for everyone and you guys kept commenting about it so here you go i hope this time it does fix it ubisoft fixed a problem that could cause the game to crash when performing an operative swap in a specific area of the open world. They fixed an issue that could cause placeholder text to be displayed for an inactive operative when inspecting them in a restricted area. They fixed a problem that could cause the game to crash when ray tracing was enabled and they fixed a problem that could cause the game to freeze when selecting a tab in the in-game store. And then there's also loads of PC specific patches. They fixed an issue that could cause an infinite loading screen after initiating the in-game benchmark. They fixed an issue that could cause certain objects not to reflect properly when ray tracing was enabled. They fixed an issue that could cause a black screen and invisible UI element when loading up the game for the first time while using the X12. They fixed an issue that could cause the game's performance to be dramatically reduced after several hours of gameplay when using an AMD graphics card and having ray tracing enabled. They fixed a problem that could cause the game to crash while free roaming in the open world. They fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash when quickly switching between app categories in the data app. They fixed an issue that could cause the hologram during the more human than man mission to not be smooth when using high, very high or ultra presets with the Rax 12 enabled. They also fixed an issue that could cause the game to crash when selecting certain weapons and they also fixed an issue that caused the buy upgrade button in the tech tab to not be highlighted when hovering over it with the mouse pointer. For the PC players, I am now very happy and excited since you guys can now go ahead and play Watch Dogs Legion online. Obviously, I made loads of videos on how to rank up quick, so if you haven't played yet, make sure to go ahead and check those out. Hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell for way more Watch Dogs Legion. And like I said, click on one of the videos on your screen. This is me, Boy Cheese. I'm out. Peace.